So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about my experience getting lip filler. Now, if talking about cosmetic procedures and all that kind of stuff isn't really your cup of tea, I suggest clicking off this video. Um, I'm not going to be showing the actual procedure because I wasn't allowed to film it. I asked them and they wouldn't let me. So unfortunately, that's not going to be in this video. But those of you who are curious but are squeamish about needles, that footage won't be in this video. I'm just going to be talking about my experience. I did take notes each day. Um, I got it done. Today is Friday. I got it done a week ago yesterday on May 2nd. So I am pretty much healed. So I'm going to be talking about what I did, how much I did. Um, I'm not going to tell you exactly what place I went to because it is a local med spa and it is like literally two miles away from my house. So, I mean, I just don't feel comfortable telling you guys exactly where I went, at least putting that out into the internet. Um, if you are local in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and feel so inclined to ask me for um, a recommendation of a place to go, I will gladly tell you in private. So if you want to DM me on Instagram or whatever, um, I'll be glad to tell you because they were so lovely and I do recommend them, but I just don't feel comfortable putting that out into a video that literally everybody in the world could watch considering it is so close to me. First, I'm going to talk about why I did it. And just looking at me, um, you probably won't be able to tell a difference, which is kind of what I wanted. Even my own mother, I FaceTimed her the other, or well, not FaceTime, but video chatted her the other day. And even my own mother didn't notice. So, like I wasn't wearing any makeup, so I couldn't like make it seem like I overlined my lips or anything, but even she didn't even notice or care. <laughs> really, really subtle, but I wanted to talk about why I did it. I don't really feel like I need to justify this decision to you guys, um, but I wanted to talk about it anyway. So I'm going to put up some like before pictures as well as like throughout my healing process. Um, the reason why I wanted to do it is because as you can probably see in the up close before pictures, um, especially my top lip. I've always had a very full bottom lip, but my top lip was disproportionate. My left side of my top lip was disproportionately small to the right side of my top lip, if that makes sense. So it, my lips were uneven. I overline my lips all the time when I wear lipstick anyway, um, but I always have to overline my top lip um, just to make it look even. And it's hard to do without making your lips look insane um with makeup so i have a friend my friend laura um got her lips done a few months ago and her lips look so natural and so good like if you saw her on the street you wouldn't think that girl's had lip injections she it just looks very very natural and so i've been talking to her about it for months and toying around with the idea and like I if you don't know I am a huge baby like I used to throw temper tantrums far older than I probably should when I had to get my blood drawn at the doctor or get a shot or which is weird because I have my dad always makes the comment like you have tattoos but it's like so not the same thing but so I, was, I never thought that this would be a procedure that I would ever be interested in um but I'm so glad that I did it. So um, yeah, that's kind of the reason that I did it. Um, I'll kind of get into this in a little bit, but um, the procedure, um, the substance is made out of, most fillers is made out of hyaluronic acid, which is a substance that your body produces naturally. So your body will, metabolize isn't the right word, but your body will kind of absorb the filler over time. Um, let's go down. It depends on how fast your body will kind of absorb it, um, which is then in turn, in turn depends on how long your filler will last. Again, this is my first time doing it, so I don't know how long it lasts for me, but 
my girl that did it told me that it can last anywhere from six months to a year and a half so it really depends on you um so for me the price wasn't the price was deterring me because um it, it's it's a lot of money to just drop all at once at least for me it is so um for me the price i got one syringe of jubiderm ultra xc which um they the place that i went to does all jubiderm um for lips and um they recommended this for what i wanted it looks the most natural and everything so um they were having a event where like their filler and their botox and stuff like that which i obviously didn't get but all of that kind of stuff was discounted from the regular price so i did get 200 dollars off which did kind of ease the 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 money a little bit you know what i mean um so i paid 350 dollars for one syringe which if you pay anything under i would say anything under 350 it, i would really really look hard at that salon why are they charging so little um I'm going to use the word salon a lot. I don't know if that's the right term, but um, no, but yeah. So if you're, if you're looking at prices online and, you know, calling around to places, try to keep in mind that they are charging for the product, which is expensive, the labor, which it is a very highly skilled process. Um, and you know, obviously they have to make a profit. So, um, yeah, um, just keep in mind that if you're scared of getting botched lip filler, maybe go to a place that costs a little bit extra. Um, you get what you pay for, in my opinion, but yeah. So I did get Juvederm Ultra XC with one syringe. Okay, so I'm just coming on here to make a crucial point that I completely missed out on. You, Most places will require you to buy a full syringe, even if you only want half. Um, that is because obviously you can't share a syringe with somebody else so it's not like they can sell that again also um, most places will tell you that a full syringe for most people is what you would want obviously if you want to go more than that like you do you um but a half a syringe for most people isn't going to do a whole hell of a lot unless you only need like a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. Um, but at least I asked my girl that my injector is her official title. Technically. Um, I asked her, um, and she said that, uh, she sees very few people getting any less than a full syringe, a very, very few people. And so she was saying that most people who do a half a syringe will go in again to get that other half of their syringe um, because it wasn't enough for them. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna start talking about the actual process. So if you're, again, there's not gonna be any footage of like the injections going in or anything, um, but if you are squeamish, then maybe skip a little bit um, to like the healing portions because yeah, I'm gonna start talking about needles now. But um, so basically when I walked in, I went with my boyfriend, my boyfriend took me and he hates needles so he did not pay attention at all but i wanted somebody there for moral support so basically you sit down in the chair and she um she took a couple before pictures and all that kind of stuff and then she put on this numbing cream which has lidocaine in it um some people are allergic to lidocaine i'm not one of those people but um some people are allergic to lidocaine so just keep in mind that the numbing cream does have that in it. Some places use different kinds of numbing agents. Some people use like a, they'll inject something in your gums. So your whole, like not your whole mouth, but like your whole lip area goes numb. My place didn't do that. Um, but just keep in mind what method your uh, place uses and kind of ask around to see um, if you do have any allergies or like any of that kind of stuff. So she put on the numbing cream and it sat there for a little bit. It did taste disgusting. My boyfriend made me laugh at one point and like it got in my mouth a little bit and it didn't like make my tongue numb or anything cause I like wiped it off with a tissue. 
um, pretty quickly, but it was it tasted really nasty. So try not to talk or laugh or do anything while the numbing cream was sitting because it's really gross. Um, so then she took a cloth and like wiped it off and then comes the injections. Now, as stated before, I'm a giant baby. So I was really worried about this hurting really bad and I have heard everything from it's excruciating to it's nothing. And for me, it wasn't comfortable, but it wasn't like excruciating. Like I, I wouldn't classify it as like pain per se. It was just kind of annoying. And like I said, I'm a giant baby, but I think she numbed me up pretty good. And obviously the numbing agent isn't like, it's not numbing your like all layers of your lips. So it's only numbing like the first couple layers. So you're going to feel the product going in. Um, and it, a lot of people say that it's really quick. I don't think like maybe my girl was just very, very diligent and you know, she didn't take forever or anything, but the whole process took about 45 minutes. Um, which I think is a long time in terms of lip filler. And I don't think that she did a whole bunch more than I think a lot of people do, but anyway. So basically she focused most of the lip filler, most of the product in the outer corners and most of it on my top lip, um, just because she wanted to even out my lips a little bit. It did hurt a lot more, not a lot more, but a, 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 it did hurt more on my left side. I have no idea why. I don't know if my lips just didn't take to the numbing agent on my left side. I don't know if she, because she did my right side first, the numbing stuff was like starting to wear off on my left side. It did bleed a little bit on my outer corner on my right here, um, but that, like they say that's gonna bruise pretty quickly if that happens, but that didn't happen to me. Um, it just looked like, like I had a little bit of acne there or whatever. It wasn't that hard. Um, but yeah, I loved the way my lips looked right after. Like I took a picture, I'll put it right here. Loved the way my lips looked. I almost was kind of sad to see the swelling go down. <laughs> and my friend Laura said the exact same thing. Like, um, so that's gonna be pretty common. Some people go back like two weeks later to kind of get them plumped up again um, so they can get that look. I don't think I'm gonna do that to be completely honest because I'm pretty happy with how they look. I'm on day eight now and I have like a teensy, teensy, tiny bit of swelling on like the outer corners of my bottom lip and then a little bit on like my left side of my top lip, but nothing, nothing like when I first did it. I remember the day of my boyfriend tried to kiss me and I couldn't even make like the, like the kissy face. Um, and like my lips were so swollen. Um, for a while, for a couple days, it was hard for me to eat anything that wasn't off of a fork. So like anything that wasn't like a handheld food, if you know what I mean. Um, anything that wasn't off of a fork, it was, it was difficult for some reason. I couldn't, I couldn't, like my lips were so swollen that I couldn't like wrap my mouth around whatever I was trying to eat, which was frustrating. It was weird to drink out of a straw for a couple of days, um, but nothing major. It was just like a little uncomfortable. I also wanted to make another note here about another one of my symptoms. I don't know why I forgot to say this. Throughout the process and even still now a little bit, but throughout the process of the last week, my lips have been insanely dry. I have been, where is it? I've been slathering on the Aquaphor and this is like really cheap at CVS. So um, get you some Aquaphor or like any really, really thick, balm your lips are going to be very very dry I honestly don't know why but yeah I think that they turned out really good again like it's not anything like major um I think if you're really looking for it it's so paranoid about like them looking really overfilled and weird and like bad but they they really don't they look very very natural and I'm so happy with them um, and I'm honestly, I'm so glad that I did it. Like, I don't think it's the end of the world if I didn't do it, but I am so happy that I did it. So if you are thinking about it, I know there's not a lot of videos about this kind of thing, but if you're thinking about doing it, honestly, just bite the bullet and do it. If 
like the way I feel about it, if I hate it in a few months, like it'll go away. It's not permanent. It's not, um, there's, there's not, I mean, yeah, you are out, you know, $350, $400 or however much you spent. It's nothing crazy. It is very much worth it to me. Um, just give me, giving me that little boost of confidence. Um, if you guys have any questions that I didn't cover in this video, let me know down below. Um, and also leave some suggestions for videos you guys want to see in the future down below. And yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.